The python thought that in front of him was an ordinary rodent that would easily become prey. Fatal error. The porcupine masterfully wields needles as a real weapon. There are several species of animals that, with small sizes, have such trump cards that will unpleasantly surprise even the most formidable predators. Squirrels have a reputation for being cute and innocent animals. Their fast jumps, timid nature, and fluffy tails made them a good image of good-natured and cuties. Here it is, effective PR in action. It must have affected the snakes as well. This venomous reptile thought it was going to have a delicious snack. Big mistake. The squirrel doesn't even try to escape. On the contrary, she goes on the attack herself. A cobra can take down a horse with one bite, but a squirrel turns out to be too agile and dexterous. Not a single throw hits the target. The snake already takes a defensive position in a panic, opens the collar, but the squirrel doesn't care. She attacks again and again as lightning rushes from side to side. This is not a unique case. It turns out that squirrels are great fighters. They avoid fights, but if they are angered, then even larger predators will only have to run. These rodents prefer nuts, fruits, and vegetable food, but on occasion, they will gladly snack on a poisonous snake. Squirrels have no immunity from the poison of these reptiles, only agility, lightning fact reaction, and courage, which would be enough for several lions. So don't joke with that squirrel when you feed her nuts. The tactics of squirrels are very unusual. They can either attack from the flanks to confuse less agile opponents, or use their tail. No, they don't hit the snake with it, but they distract them. The tail rises above the squirrel's back, the snake reacts to it and tries to bite, but its teeth slip off the fluffy fur. Meanwhile, the sharp teeth of the squirrel, which easily cope with the hard shell of nuts, are already getting to the scales of the enemy. A porcupine is a small, well-fed animal the size of a dog, with short paws and a cute muzzle. But experienced predators try to avoid this. The reason is simple. Porcupine quills are practically an ultimate weapon against most predators. The fact is that they have a slightly jagged structure, so they do not just hit the enemy with painful injections, but get stuck in their flesh. In addition, the needles are very quickly and easily detached from the porcupine itself. Therefore, most often, a skirmish, a lot of needles remain in the predator's body. And that's when the most unpleasant thing happens. Inflammation. In a warm and humid climate, an infection penetrates into the wound, which very quickly causes blood poisoning, tissue death. And such a wound hurts very much. No matter how tough a lion is, he has no grasping fingers, no antiseptics, no antibiotics. Therefore, an ordinary rodent, we can say an overgrown rat, is able to deal with an adult lion, which scatters a gang of hyenas and knocks down buffaloes. In addition, the porcupine is well aware of the capabilities of his weapons and uses it masterfully. He just seems cute. If the porcupine feels threatened, he will attack the enemy itself. And it looks funny from the outside. The porcupine walks with its back to the leopard, moves sideways, and tries to catch the enemy with the tips of his needles. But the leopard is not funny. The porcupine is able to come close with a powerful jerk and force the needles to dig deeper into the predator's flesh and then move away with a light movement, leaving the needles there. The rodent acts so nimbly that it caused the myth that it shoots needles from a distance. This, of course, is not the case. But who knows where evolution will lead him? At the same time, porcupine needles, contrary to another myth, are not poisonous. These are ordinary modified hairs, just longer, harder, and tougher. 
But thanks to their flexibility, it is almost impossible to remove needles with their paws. And besides the threat of infection and pain, the needle will also interfere with movement, a terrible weapon. Thanks to this, it is much more difficult to cope with a porcupine than it seems at first glance. So give this porcupine a like. It definitely deserves it with its bravery and fighting skills. The alligator is very young, and the jaguar has the advantage in strength, but the reptile knows judo. Look at that throw over his shoulder. Definitely a black belt. The jaguar literally flies into the water. Usually, a sloth is an easy prey. He of course stinks, but he is not able to provide decent resistance because of his legendary slowness. Therefore, huge harpy eagles are very fond of hunting these animals. The birds literally brush the sloths out of the branches and take them to their nests for lunch. For them, sloths are an easy prey in 99% of cases. But this sloth is the exception. He turned out to be a tough nut to crack. The harpy is shocked herself, but she didn't know who she was messing with. Not only that, but the sloth somehow miraculously escaped the blow. So he also fights off the bird when it landed on the branches to deal with the prey in close combat. As a result, the harpy has to retreat. Like this anaconda. Sloths try not to leave the trees and reluctantly go down to the ground. For them, moving on the ground is so much more stressful that this beast just doesn't care about the anaconda. He literally steps on it to get to the right tree. Maybe the sloth's impudence scares the snake, or maybe it was just full, but the animal successfully trampled on the anaconda and got to the right tree it needed. Why do you think the anaconda didn't attack? Let us know in the comments. The main advantage of the Impala is speed. It is really impressive. Like the maneuverability of a hoofed animal, it is instantly able to change its direction of running and dodge the claws of the lioness at the last second. Fast as a bullet, the Impala passes the predator by itself and runs away, leaving the enemy to swallow its dust. This ungulate does not have enough strength to resist predators like leopards and hyenas. Therefore, if you have already been caught, then most likely the Impala will become lunch. But here, the hyena clearly underestimated its enemy. She caught the Impala and was ready to take it with her fangs, but was distracted by the cheetah. Suddenly, the Impala jumps up and runs away. It turns out that she was alive the whole time. It just had enough composure to deceive the hyena and to take advantage of the only chance for salvation. That's how cunning sometimes saves in cases where brute force is not enough. And an impala also knows how to use someone else's competition for its own good. A group of animals at a watering hole was scared off by a leopard. The cunning predator appeared so unexpectedly that it surprised one of the impalas, which was at a depth of. It didn't have time to escape. The young leopard's fangs closed in on its throat, and suddenly a hyena appeared. It was more massive than a very young spotted hunter, so she was able to drive away the competitor. But the Impala was alive and jumped to her feet at the moment when the hyena's fangs were as far away from her body as possible. As a result, the hoof managed to escape from a seemingly hopeless situation. It is worth paying tribute to the Impala's endurance, so she doesn't try to pull away when the hyena was looking at her and jumped up only when the opponent lost concentration. Usually, zebras are not distinguished by a craving for mutual assistance. If predators attack, then each striped horse will be fending for itself. But sometimes there are exceptions. This zebra is one of them. Suddenly, she went on the attack on the lioness and right in front of the safari group and beat off a fellow predator. For the lioness, this was a shock. She clearly got involved with the wrong ungulates, which she used to hunt. 
The zebra successfully pushed the lioness away, after which it delivered such a powerful blow to its muzzle with its hooves that the sound could be heard even a few feet away. Although the failed victim was already quite a large individual, it was probably a teenager, and the protective zebra was its mother. However, sometimes a zebra can stand on its own against a lioness. Just look at the stubbornness and power with which the ungulate fights off the predator and shakes it off its neck. Amazing strength, which the lioness clearly did not expect. She holds on tightly with her curved claws, reaches for the throat of the prey, and does not give up until the last minute. But the zebra breaks out of her grip and runs away. Sometimes the unexpected boldness of small animals can look charming. For example, this goose that confronts angry bulls. Isn't it cute? The bird is simply unshakable. They are trying to intimidate her, push her away, trample her. But she herself goes into battle, although she is a hundred times smaller than her enemy. Even the numerical advantage does not frighten her. About brave people, they say brave as a lion. But about the most fearless, you should be probably saying brave as a goose. Hardly anyone would call a lynx a helpless animal. This is a cool predator that preys on fairly large horned ones. But still, a lynx is a cat weighing up to 65 pounds, up to 30 kilograms. The cougar in the background is a giant. Some individuals can be three times larger and several times stronger. Their character is also tough. Aggressive cougars even fight on par with jaguars the third panthers on the planet after lions and tigers. And cougars are happy to hunt small bears, as they do not like the competition. This cougar also thought that there was a competitor in front of her, only a weak one. The lynx is a rival for her, which is easy to get rid of. But this individual turned out to be much more difficult. She kept her composure and self-control and managed to give the cougar a worthy rebuff. These are very rare shots of a skirmish between such serious predators. Under normal conditions, lynx avoid cougars, but it was not possible to get away from the meeting here. The cougar acts very aggressively, growls, tries to intimidate the opponent. Just pay attention to the lynx look. Even a primed marine would envy that composure. How would you behave if you were face to face with an angry mountain lion? The lynx didn't flinch. Her every movement is clear so that she responds optimally to the threat, saves its strength, and delivers strong, accurate strikes at the only right moment when they can reach the target. The cougar has to retreat. Unexpectedly for her, the lynx turned out to be a tough nut to crack. These tigers could handle a young elephant. Therefore, predatory cats thought that a duck was just like a snack, like a pack of chips. But they didn't know how cold-blooded and cunning this little feathered buddy was. During each attack, the duck simply dived under the surface of the murky water. And that's it. For the cats, it was gone. Probably if they had dived too, they could have even caught her blindly. However, the disappearance of the duck shocked the cats so much that they froze in place. And when the duck resurfaced, it was like a teleportation for the striped predators. As a result, the cats could not even catch one feathered bird, which did not even try to take off from them. When you see this adorable animal with an elongated ferret face, round ears, and big cute paws running through snowdrifts, the cuteness meter just overloads. But if some large predator tries to attack this little adorable buddy, he will immediately realize that he has contacted the wrong opponent. This wolf regretted that he got caught by such a little buddy. It seems that the gray predator is not laughing, do you agree? And when you see how this creature kills a deer by himself, and you realize that nature has surprises for you. This is the Wolverine. 
And the coolest superhero scumbag has its name for a reason. An animal the size of a spaniel that scares experienced wolves by its mere presence. Why is this? It's just that if a wolf or even a cougar has the audacity to attack our little buddy, it can end tragically for the larger predator and become nothing more than a warm-up for the wolverine itself. And how will an experienced predator behave if it meets the wolverine? Will it pick up some keys to victory, look for tactics, how to defeat the enemy? No. Here is an experienced wolf, and he made the most reasonable decision. He pretends not to see the wolverine, and tries not to provoke her. Look just how the wolf looks away from the competitor who is walking around and does not show any interest in it at all. Well, wolves are pretty smart animals. The wolverine weighs a maximum of 55 pounds, 25 kilograms, that is three times less than a wolf. But just look at how this battle machine can fight two such opponents at once. These wolves carelessly attack wolverines, but it immediately goes on the counterattack and starts chasing opponents like puppies. The ferocity of the wolverine simply shocks both wolves, who were waiting for the victim to start running away. Apparently, they haven't faced such an opponent yet. Wolves are considered one of the most successful and effective predators on the planet. But the wolverine just doesn't care about their reputation, teamwork, intelligence, agility, and other advantages. If you make her angry, she just goes into battle and destroys everything in her path. The secret of the wolverine's success is a combination of incredible rage, bravery, and extraordinary physical abilities. The wolverine fights with both jaws and paws. Her claws, although they do not retract like cats, are very sharp and strong. This allows her to grab the victim almost tighter than a bulldog. And it's not so much the bite force as the incredible stubbornness of the animal. If the wolverine clenches its jaws, then only a burst from a machine gun can make it let go of the victim. And that is the option that first wolverines will deal with the shooter, and then return to the prey. You know about the wolverine's reputation, we know about the wolverine's reputation, even many bears know about it. But the behavior of this baby, on the contrary, is a big surprise for any predator. This is an ordinary American badger. He is much less famous than the wolverine or honey badger, although they are all relatives. Do you understand what this means? That if due to inexperience, a bear gets into a fight with a badger, it will receive the same tough rebuff as in the case of a honey badger. For its size, the badger has great strength, but still inferior to larger predators. How then does he keep them at bay? It's just that the badger's skin is incredibly strong, and the animal itself has great vitality, a high pain threshold, thick fur, and agility. Even experienced hunters prefer not to mess with the badger. There are legends that the skin of this beast is even more durable than that of a boar. Why then do we hear so little about the rage of badgers? The fact is that they don't like unnecessary problems. The honey badger and wolverine walk around their possessions and constantly run into a fight. And the badger, on the contrary, likes a quiet life normally. He prefers berries, nuts, roots, vegetables, and if it hunts, it usually hunts insects, reptiles, and small little birds. The badger loves rodents especially, so he is treated well in culture because the badger destroys pests. By the way, he's not irritable, not particularly aggressive, and doesn't try to punch the bear as soon as he notices it. He's also got a really cute face, don't you agree? American badgers have long hair, which in combination with a low sitting body and short paws makes them look like kind of decorative dogs. European ones look especially cute due to the elongated muzzle with characteristic cute stripes. 
Therefore, it seems that in front of you is an ordinary quiet boy who hides from the threat and counts only on the protection of its native burrow. That's why it's such a surprise for this bear when it turns out that the badger is even more insane and berserk than his distant relatives. After all, if this guy is provoked, he will be offended and show that it is better not to run into modest people. Most predators avoid fights with an equal opponent for one simple reason. Good health is needed for hunting. If the wolf overcomes the enemy, but remains with a wounded paw, it will be much more difficult for him to catch up with the prey. This can end fatally. The badger doesn't care about this at all. He goes to the end, which simply terrifies his competitors. The badger can even attack a cougar if it tries to mess with him. But the cougar is an incredibly aggressive and cruel beast. But she retreats like a frightened little kitten when the badger threatens to gnaw the cat's tendons on its paws. With his elongated but very powerful jaws, he can do this. He attacks ten times the larger beast stubbornly and brutally over and over again. At the same time, the badger knows the pain points of the enemy and tries to hit each one. This fox thought that the badger was a helpless fatty, but realized too late that he had messed with the wrong one. The badger bites right at the base of the tail, in a very painful place. He shakes it from side to side, causing maximum damage. And thanks to the grip of powerful paws, the fox has no chance to get out until the badger lets him go. And the blows of the enemy, it seems, he simply ignores. And even if the predator retreats, the badger will chase him himself, so that the enemy will forever remember this lesson. Usually elephants behave calmly and move slowly across the savanna in search of food. These predators decided that this behavior is a sign of weakness. Huge mistake. The elephant shows that he is alone is like a whole army. Now we are going to show you other amazing cases when animals have shown that it is better not to mess with them. Elephants behave especially brutally in order to protect loved ones. Yes, they have very developed family ties. Therefore, when a whole pride of lions, despite the numerical advantage, bravery, and strength, attacked the baby elephant, it was a big mistake. They messed with the wrong elephant. The female went on the attack and literally scattered a whole group of lions. They fought desperately to save the cub and managed to recapture it from the enemies. But if you think this is the end of the story, that is where you're wrong. It turns out that elephants' amazing memory can be a problem. The female remembered the stress of the experience. And when the lions were quietly eating their lunch, she attacked them first. It's hard to say whether it was purposeful revenge or the elephant just wanted to drive the pride from her pasture. But in any case, she achieved her goal. The lions had to run in different directions, just not to get hit by this live battering ram weighing several tons. So to run over an elephant means not only to get a serious beating right on the spot, but also to obtain a dangerous enemy. These lions definitely regretted that they once got involved with this elephant. The tiger is used to dangerous challenges. He often hunts buffaloes, which are three times heavier than him. But here the striped predator clearly did not calculate the strength when he attacked the elephant. Although the Indian species of these huge animals is slightly smaller than the African, they are still the largest land animals on the planet. The tiger's attack made no impression on the elephant. He does not even think of running away or going on the defensive. What for? With a mass of more than three tons, an elephant is 12 times heavier than the tiger. Therefore, the herbivore immediately turns 180 degrees and with lightning speed goes on the attack as soon as it notices the enemy. The tiger is shocked by such a meeting. He has to run away. 
wild boar is a relative of the domestic pig. But in a fight between them, we know who you're betting on. Of course, the boar, with its powerful fangs, almost impenetrable skin, and ferocious temper. He can put a larger horse to flight and withstand a shot from a gun almost at point-blank range. However, that would be a mistake. Here the boar decided to take out his evil temper on the pig, but did not take into account that there is a very thick layer of adipose tissue under its smooth skin. It acts as no less effective protection than a hard hide and does not miss a single blow. It seems that a pink pig with floppy ears and short legs is defenseless against the rage of a boar. But all the blows of a wild beast slip off the skin of a pig. And then the pig goes into a counterattack and makes the wild boar run. Mass advantage is a great argument for winning. You don't expect such a fury from a domestic pig, do you? The boar doesn't either, and he paid for it. Each of these dogs is larger than a monitor lizard and is better armed with fangs and claws. There are four dogs. It seems that the fate of the reptile is predetermined, but the dogs contacted the wrong opponent. The monitor lizard takes off from its place, literally like a miniature projectile. He does not allow himself to be completely surrounded and is the first to rush into the attack. He chose one of the dogs and pounces on it with incredible malice. It is difficult to make out something behind the cloud of dust that two animals raised during the battle. But it turned out that the monitor lizard survived, and his brave maneuver allowed him to knock down the attacking rush of the dogs and escape from their surroundings. Usually, the zebra's only chance to survive an attack by a large predator is escape. But these striped ungulates clearly went to self-defense courses. Just look at how cool they defend themselves. There is everything here. A back kick, a throw over the shoulder, and suppression of the opponent on the ground. Martial arts experts, how do you like these techniques performed by the zebra? Share your opinion in the comments. A crocodile can drag a wildebeest, which weighs like a small motorcycle, under the water. What is some kind of makaki for this reptile? A pack of chips? <laughs> not even. The crocodile made a mistake in choosing an opponent. He did not know that these primates have really indomitable courage and at the same time try to take care of each other to the last moment. The crocodile grabbed one monkey. However, not only the pack did not run away, but attacked the reptile to repel a relative. A hail of hits fell on the crocodile. Maybe two or three macaques couldn't hurt him, but there were too many of them. The crocodile had to let go of the prey. Such dedication and loyalty to the family deserves your like, doesn't it? This leopard cub was completely defenseless against an adult cruel hyena. The kid was waiting for his mother to return from hunting and could only hope that the enemy would not notice him in the thicket. Unfortunately, the disguise did not help. The hyena noticed the prey and rushed to the baby. Only she underestimated this kitten. Of course, he couldn't fight the hyena, but he could run away. Although leopards are not known for endurance, if their life is at stake, they will run for as long as necessary. At the very last moment, when the hyena's jaws almost close on the leopard's paws, the kitten managed to jump up a tree and escape. The people who were watching this scene couldn't help but applaud. And how would you behave in their place? Would you root for a hyena or vice versa? Would you try to save the kitten? Let me know in the comments. We are very interested in your opinion. Compared to a domestic cat, a tiger is a real titan. A cat could fit entirely in the mouth of its distant relative. It seems that the striped cat understands this and looks at the cat with disdain. In vain, the cat immediately reminds the giant which of them is in the cage. 
most likely this is another red cat, but he behaves no less cool. Instead of escaping, he takes a defensive stance to be able to fight with all four limbs. And this, despite the fact that his opponents are a pair of tigers. And this time, the cat is not protected by the bars of the cage. The tiger makes a tentative light strike. Of course, he could crush the cat, but he acts carefully. Why hurry? And when the tiger meets just a furious rebuff, the striped cat retreats. And the kid celebrates his victory. If he decided to lie here, then no giants would drive him away. It seems that he comes to the edge of the enclosure with a mute question in his eyes. Did you see that? Get this scumbag out of here. Cats are generally fine with assessing their own fighting qualities. They are often underestimated because of their relatively small size. But the camera lens gets phenomenal cases when cats showed who was the coolest fighter here. Of course, they don't have any special protection. They are small and vulnerable to the jaws and claws of a larger enemy. But the cat still needs to be caught. These animals are incredibly quirky and cunning. They can often lower the vigilance of a possible opponent to deliver an unexpected and insidious blow. And the clawed paws of a cat causes a lot of pain, even if they are not able to break large vessels and animals several times larger. And cats also know the weaknesses of their opponents and often aim at the eyes and other vulnerable points. In general, do not anger the seals, do not make this mistake. Gibbons with their cute faces, vegetarian diet, and long, thin arms seem so cute. But it turns out to be a territorial animal that is trying to drive away any potentially dangerous creature from its land. Even if we are talking about an adult tiger, and it looks pretty impressive. Gibbons can't really threaten tigers, but primates can annoy, pull, irritate. It goes down beats the tiger, and immediately returns back to the thin branches for where it was. At the same time, the monkey seriously risks himself because the reaction of the striped predator is lightning fast. But the tiger made a mistake in choosing a resting place. The gibbon is too agile. They touch the tiger and immediately soar it up on the thin branches where a heavy cat could neither jump nor climb. At the same time, the scene looks as funny as it is cool. Chasing away a tiger with light slaps is an enviable skill. It seems that the gibbon is playing with the tiger, and the predator is against it and wants to rest in peace. So he leaves when he realizes that he will not be left alone here. But most likely the reason for this behavior of the primate is precisely his desire to force a dangerous predator to leave. However, it looks nice, especially because no one was really hurt. This lion did not try to attack the lioness. It apparently decided to play a joke on it and crept up to the sleeping female to make a gentle bite. But it didn't appreciate the humor. An angry female who has been prevented from sleeping is an opponent who should not be underestimated. Poor lion. Let his fate be a lesson for all of us. Probably, kangaroos seem cute to us because they are at the same time very different from us, and at the same time, thanks to the habit of standing straight and grabbing objects with their front paws hands, they are somewhat similar to us. Here too, although a dog is a friend of a person, you involuntarily begin to worry about the kangaroo. After all, the duck has already driven him into the water. So what will happen to the boar marsupial? It turns out that there is nothing wrong. He is not as defenseless as it may seem at first glance. It seems that going into the water is a part of his insidious plan. With one sharp movement, the kangaroo grabs the dog and begins to drown him. It seems as if an ordinary hunting scene has turned into a thriller. 
the kangaroo lifts his head away from the water, but its grip does not weaken, so the animal really resembles some kind of negative character who revealed his true nature at the very last moment. The dog, however, manages to escape, but it isn't likely that he will hunt kangaroos now. Probably this cobra was expecting an easy hunt when it got into the yard to people. Well, there are no mongooses nearby, nor is there a man with a gun. This means that both the chickens and their mother hen will become easy prey. Perhaps the snake thought so too, but he was wrong. The chicken decided that this yard needed a new hero. Some of them don't wear capes. They cackle and fuss, but at the right moment, they are the first to attack a dangerous enemy. It was this feat that was accomplished by the simplest chicken, which did not even try to take its offspring away from the yard. Instead, the self-confident bird calmly approaches the cobra, which could have stopped the heart of an adult elephant with just one bite. The snake is already shocked by this impudence, but this is just the beginning. Now the chicken will give such a beating to the reptile that the cobra will forever forget the way to this yard. Let the bird cannot resist the snake's venom, it still needs to be bitten. The chicken acts unexpectedly nimbly and leaves the cobra no chance to inflict a dangerous bite. Lions and tigers are different species, but they belong to the same family, the panthers. And although the structure of the skull and skeleton are almost the same, tigers are much larger, by about 10 to 15%. It's like the difference between boxers in different weight categories. Only when these tigers decided that the territory of the enclosure belonged to them completely, they were in for an unpleasant surprise. There is one lion and two tigers, but the mighty king of beasts does not care about it. Striped predators can be incredibly strong, but fighting skills and courage turned out to be the lion's trump cards. However, in the wild, the same lions and tigers cannot create married couples. Once their habitat coincided over a fairly large area in India, now there is only one reserve where they can theoretically meet each other. This is the Girski Forest. There will be no particularly tender feelings between them due to the differences in lifestyle and competition for food. But since tigers prefer dense thickets and lions like plains, they have to fight in exceptional cases. Therefore, it is usually those predators that are kept in captivity that will sort out the relationship. Here, big cats do not compete for food and share a rather cramped space. Tigers have a huge impact force and are able to break a horse's spine. Although the mane gives the lions a more impressive appearance, if we compare only muscle mass, they are inferior to tigers by much. But still the striped predator is forced to give up and retreat. He really shouldn't have attacked that lion. It was a big mistake to mess with such an incredible opponent. What is the secret of the victory of the King of Beasts? In combat skills, the lion strikes more accurately. His mane plays the role of natural armor. In addition, this lion is more stable. The tiger tries to dominate, rises on its hind legs, and attacks from above. It would have made another opponent run away in a panic, but the lion is too brave. And the fact that he retains at least three points of support and hits with one paw more than often than the other two, this allows him to throw opponents off balance during the offensive and force them to retreat and fall. And who are you rooting for in this fight? Answer in the comments. Mountain eagles are incredibly cool predators that are able to lift a mountain goat several times heavier than themselves, then drop their prey from a mountain ledge. And only then, enjoy lunch. But something has gone wrong here. This ungulate turned out to be too cool of prey, and the eagle is very clearly surprised. He did not expect such a rebuff. 
Yes, the goat falls, but the bird also falls with it. Their fight at a great height is exciting. A little more, and you might start to feel dizzy. Opponents fall again and again, but the goat does not lose its balance. Now he uses gravity as his ally. The ungulate with acceleration falls directly on the eagle, pinning it to the rock. I think something cracked, but we must give this bird its due. It is not let go of its grip and tries to continue the fight. Another mistake. The goat understands that the victim did not have enough cuffs, so he still throws off the predator and then runs away, and even tramples into the bargain. At the same time, the goat was gladly supported by a relative who also walked on the bird with sharp hooves. Today, the eagle will be left without lunch. Hippos are said to be the most dangerous animals in Africa. Although they seem pretty cute with their big noses, they are actually incredibly vicious critters. This is one of the few territorial herbivore species that fiercely defends their land, like some kind of saber-toothed tiger. A very thick layer of adipose tissue under a strong, smooth, and firm skin plays the role of an almost insurmountable armor. The fangs and claws of many predators just slip off of it. At the same time, the hippopotamus competes with the rhinoceros for the title of the second largest, strongest, and most massive land mammal on the planet after the elephant. To this set of advantages, you need to add huge fangs, each as long as a pirate saber. With them, a hippopotamus can crush bones. In general, as you understand, these animals are doing well with self-confidence. Hippos just are not afraid of anyone. They dictate the conditions on their own territory. Hippos can attack a predator simply because it annoys them. This giant is absolutely not afraid of fighting and seems to be only happy about the opportunity to show his character. But at the same time, the hippopotamus fights very cruelly. He goes to ram, tries to trample, but first of all, it bites, crushes with its jaws, and pierces with its fangs. There are a lot of cases of attacks even on motorboats. The hippopotamus easily destroys the wooden hull of a small vessel. And he can also unexpectedly attack a herbivore, which certainly does not threaten him in any way. In general, this bully behaves like a real scumbag. As you understand, such self-confidence could not end well for him. Usually a hippo is not afraid of lions and does not try to escape. Instead, the giant goes on the attack himself. Well, we must admit, the beginning of the fight really took place according to the rules of the hippopotamus. Just look at the monstrous force with which he squeezed the lioness's head in his jaws. It seems like he could swallow her completely. But the strength of the lions is not really in the huge power of the blow or the jaws. By the way, their bite force is not so great. The jaguar bites better. No, the strength of the lions is in the pride. These lionesses can't handle a hippo? Well, seven predatory cats will take up the case then. Seven can't finish the job either? No problem, a male comes to their aid. There is a stereotype that male lions do not hunt. That's not the case. They simply do not sit in ambush as their mane immediately betrays a predator in any environment. But if the lionesses have surrounded too strong a prey, the male will definitely come to the rescue. Joint efforts have turned a giant ferocious hippopotamus from a horror movie for all the surrounding swamps into a hearty breakfast for the entire pride. Sometimes it happens that animal encounters with an unexpected ending do not look cruel at all, but rather cute. In general, otters should not be underestimated. They are pretty cool guys, especially if they attack in a pack. But this orangutan should not have been underestimated. At first, he retreats. The peaceful monkey does not want to fight. But when he realizes that the otters are not calming down, this primate picks up a stick. 
Orangutans not only belong to one of the most intelligent primates that can use tools, but also have strength. Get away from me, you impudence! The monkey doesn't seem particularly angry. Rather, she is annoyed by the audacity of the otters. In general, an orangutan is such a cute, retired special forces soldier. Yeah, he has already grown a small belly, looks lazy, and is always polite to his neighbors. But if you make him angry, he will immediately remember the past and break the legs of someone who allows himself too much. Like this. At first, the orangutan treats the monkey's pranks with patience and understanding. But when she abuses these advantages, the larger beast remembers that it can literally swat the insolent. But still, this story is much more touching and amazing. These loggers are destroying an ancient rainforest. Maybe for the sake of increasing the area or the territory for crops, maybe for the sake of mining, it doesn't matter. But what really matters is the feelings of the inhabitants of the ancient thicket. Yes, these animals have feelings too. Like the hero of a blockbuster on an environmental theme, the most ordinary lone orangutan stands against a huge bulldozer. The colossal size, relative to the primate, of a car with a metal bucket and a noisy engine should have caused an orangutan to have a real panic attack and drive him away from here. But this monkey is too smart for that. She shows everyone, you messed with the wrong lady. This resident of the jungle is not so easy to intimidate, and the orangutan goes out to fight against the bulldozer. Without hope or possibility of victory, just because that's her position. Yes, my friend, this red monkey has a public position formulated more clearly than most of those you see in your own hometown. But if you have experience fighting for wildlife conservation and eco-activism, then share it into the comments below this video. We would really love to hear your story. At the same time, the orangutan got as close as possible to the bucket to fight with him, like a knight with a terrible dragon. Although the primate cannot destroy metal, its very presence on this branch does not allow the builders to move on. Therefore, in a sense, the animal won. Well, or at least something that made you think about what is happening in the distant forests and jungles. The courage of this monkey motivates and inspires to join this fight, does it not? No, we are not calling to attack construction equipment. But you must admit, wildlife deserves to take care of it and protect its mysteries and unexplored corners from destruction. It seems that even the builders who worked in this place also felt the grief of the orangutan for the destroyed thicket, which was his home. It remains to be hoped that this brave animal is now alive, healthy, and has found a new home. At least, neither the bulldozer driver nor the other people did any harm to the primate. Interestingly enough, when an orangutan went out to fight against the bulldozer, he thought that he was facing a huge monster that was uprooting his forest. Or did the animal understand the role of man in this terrible destruction of the jungle and was just trying to show the bipeds that they would not be able to destroy everything here just like that? We can only guess. What do you think? When the mayor realized that the stallion did not understand and did not accept a rejection, she decided on a more explicit way to show that she did not like him. Namely, with the help of a knockout blow directly to the head. The stallion simply turned off from the impact of powerful hooves on the skull. Well, now, perhaps, he will behave more like a gentleman with women. The relationship between badgers and foxes is an example of an amazing interspecies friendship. Usually, but not this time. 
two animals entered the territory of human habitation with the explicit purpose of finding something tasty. Well, the badger clearly understands. He's not as cute as the fox. And there are not enough treats for everyone. So, we'll have to show the redhead that we'll have to leave. Of course, it turned out to be brutal, but in fact, the fox simply underestimated the power of the badger. Their grip will surprise many. Remember in the film Guardians, there was a cool moment. The prisoners approached the arrested superhero to settle old scores. It all ended with an epic phrase. It wasn't me who was locked up with you, and it's you who are locked up with me. It was me who was locked up with you. And it's you who locked up with me! Well, these hyena-like dogs made the same mistake as the bandits in the movie. They underestimated the enemy and decided that he was trapped. In fact, the gazelle that you see now is one of the few artiodactyls that are distinguished by a very determined character and a love of fighting. Perhaps these dogs thought that the gazelle had gone to the depths because of panic trying to escape. In fact, the ungulate lured predators to a place where they would have neither the opportunity to surround nor the advantage of a flat surface. And when the horned creature realized that the dog was carried away and believed in his victory, he turned into a crushing counterattack. The gazelle literally trampled the predator and almost drowned him. An object lesson for fellow humans who understood the essence of the situation in time and did not dare to pursue a higher animal at depth. The behavior of this gang of macaques does not cause any involvement. They really fancy themselves too strong and invulnerable to smaller otters. It seems that primates treat otters like toys. They shake the kids from side to side, sometimes even bang their heads on the rocks. Why would an animal that doesn't try to hunt do that? Out of curiosity or because of a violent nature? To be honest, it is extremely difficult to perceive all kinds of animals, equally objectively and with equal sympathy. And it's not because some animals seem more beautiful. It's just that the habits of certain species are really associated with meanness and cruelty. Whereas surprisingly other animals behave nobly, at least by our human standards. Or do you think that it is unacceptable and irrational to evaluate the behavior of animals from the point of view of human views on ethics? Or vice versa, do you believe that animals can also be guided by good intentions, which means that there are also villains among them? Answer in the comments. Maybe you are equally more for hyenas and lions. If you are outraged by the behavior of these vile macaques, then now you will see that they underestimated their enemy. Maybe one otter is weaker than a primate, but altogether they represent a formidable force. Otters caught a macaque and threw it into the water, and then surrounded from all sides. From the sides, from below, from above, their sharp teeth were constantly wounded, bitten, looking for a gap in the defense. The macaque tries to fight back, but the otters in the water are too strong. It is much more convenient for them to act there. And the otters fight too harmoniously to be resisted. Although the macaque is trying to fight off a relative, he has no chance. The otters have dealt with the enemy and have shown that contacting them is the biggest mistake a monkey can make. Do you see a shark? Ah, oh, there she is. An invisible predator that plows the waters of the ocean like her ancestors millions of years before. Are you scared? She knows you're scared. But this sea lion is not the enemy on whose fear you can count. This mammal is not just not afraid of the shark, it attacks first and literally bites the huge fish, throwing it out of the water. For a sea lion, this shark, with all its size and powerful jaws, is just a hearty lunch. 
When a bully does not get rebuffed for a long time, he may believe in his own strength too much. This dog really thinks he can scare a bull weighing almost a ton. This ungulate endured the stupidity of the opponent for a while, but then decided to teach it a lesson. And it did it in the most convincing way. With a kick that threw the dogs away and slammed it into the door jam. Now the little impudent dog will think several times on whom it is possible and on whom it is not possible to bark and rush. Archimedes said, Give me a fulcrum and I will move the earth. It is not known whether the bull of the work studied the biography of an ancient physicist, but the concept of Archimedes was embodied 100% here. During the enemy's attack, the bull went into defense, found a foothold, and took a crushing blow from the enemy with such fortitude that the bull literally did a somersault in the air and landed on his back. He himself is shocked by the acrobatic trick that he has just performed. But it must be admitted, he does not take stubbornness. The bull jumped up and continued the duel. Apparently, they didn't share something important. You know about the reputation of honey badgers, right? So these hyenas were clearly unaware and underestimated this kid. Of course, even against one hyena, the honey badger is like a gnome against a troll. And here hyenas are generally three against one. But neither the size of the enemy nor the numerical superiority does not bother our furious hero at all. He goes into battle and shows the hyenas where they belong. In a pile of garbage. Although the jaws of spotted predators can shatter bones, the honey badger not only has a strong hide, but also reacts to attacks with the speed of a bullet. As soon as the hyena tries to grab him, the honey badger immediately turns to her for a counterattack. The hyenas thought they had surrounded the enemy, but for the honey badger, this is not a problem. He easily spins around his axis and distributes such heavy blows that the hyenas can only run away from this little ball of rage. In addition to the fact that the skin of the honey badger is very durable, it also easily departs from the muscle tissue. Therefore, even if the hyena's teeth dig into the skin, it does not lead to any serious internal damage. The honey badger is just getting a little bit angrier and he uses not only jaws with needle-sharp teeth, but also his paws. With his claws, it seems he could dig a tunnel connecting New York with Los Angeles. And the hyena's skin, moreover, will not withstand too close of an acquaintance with these claws. The giraffe is the tallest animal on the planet. An adult can easily look into the window of a third floor story building, standing near it. These ungulates became so tall in order to have access to the crown of savanna trees, which have juicy foliage only up at the highest altitude. But giraffes paid for such a growth with dexterity. They can run well, but a lion can easily catch up with a giraffe, especially if it is attacked from an ambush. That's exactly what happened here. Lioness has surrounded the giraffe and one of the cats has already jumped on the back of his neck. An incredibly tense situation. It seems that the poor ungulate will not last even a few minutes under such a frenzied pressure. Several lionesses hold the giraffe by the hind legs. Do not allow you to drop the burden while the bravest predator gets to the throat. An example of almost perfect teamwork but the giraffe doesn't seem to care. He saves his strength and doesn't even seem to be trying to escape. The lionesses made a mistake with the victim. After some time, the cat, which was trying to get to the throat of the prey, just fell to the ground. The target was too high. And then the giraffe dispersed the opponents with powerful hooves. He may not be the most agile animal in the savanna, but one hoof strike is enough to crack a lion's skull. So the cats can only swallow the dust and go home disappointed in search of easier prey. 
and they were lucky enough to stay whole themselves after such an exhausting battle. Picture this, you are a solid and powerful lion who hunts bulls and protects his pride from a whole pack of hyenas. And then, as if out of nowhere, the most ordinary dog appears and chases you off like a yard cat. An offensive situation? Of course. No wonder the lions are trying to fight back and even deliver crushing blows. But the dog has caught the adrenaline rush and does not back down. Interestingly, the cases when a dog alone attacks a lion, or even a couple of lions, are not so rare. Big cats should not underestimate these toothy babies and calmly tolerate their approach. Even one dog can be a serious opponent. However, who knows? Maybe the lion is just afraid of catching something from such an opponent? He's obviously behaving like a madman. However, there is another version of why lions often retreat. The fact is that dogs know their opponent well. Therefore, they attack a vulnerable, that is a sensitive area, the nose. Yes, a lion or a lioness can deal with an annoying dog in less than a minute. But at the same time, they will definitely get a few sensitive bites. And why do they need it? It's better to retreat. Let's clarify one moment. This is not an adult strong kangaroo deciding to teach a teenager a lesson. These are representatives of two different species. The one that is larger is a real red kangaroo, a powerful beast whose mass is approaching the weight of an adult. And this gray animal of more miniature dimensions is a wallaby. It is more than four times lighter and about half the size of a kangaroo. Although, of course, they are quite close relatives, as it is easy to understand due to the external similarity. At the same time, the kangaroo thinks that if it is bigger, then the wallaby will have to leave. But the gray kid doesn't agree. And he is ready to demonstrate this disagreement in a fight. This fighter will give a lot of surprises to the kangaroo. The brazen marsupial underestimated its enemy and received a decisive rebuff. When a creature that is literally 200 times heavier than you approaches you, you involuntarily tense up. Especially if there are several giants behind him. But this feathered fellow does not follow such obvious logic. This bird is not afraid. She scares the others. One sharp movement, and the cows are almost in a panic. It's amazing how much they underestimated this little opponent. Wolves are considered one of the most successful predators on the planet for a reason. Even now, when cities have grown and forests have shrunk, they remain numerous and successful. Including thanks to a combination of intelligence and desperate courage. Here, several wolves become so bold that they enter the territory of a city in search of food. But the proud animals did not look for food in landfills they found an adult Kengal. This is a special breed of dog, one of the strongest, bravest, and coolest in the world. One-on-one, -on -one, Kengal may well, if he does not crack down, then at least stand up against a wolf. But there are several wild animals here, and they understand that in front of them is an enemy who may be hunting them. Therefore, the smart wolves decided to eliminate him the Kangal desperately fights back. The scene of this fight is incredibly tense. Powerful jaws and long fangs make the wolves cautious. The dog is also smart. He presses his back against the wall, finds a corridor in which to hide. This is not fear or panic. It's just that the Kangal protects himself from the rear from encirclement. If at least one wolf could attack him from behind, the others would grab him by the paws, stretch the dog, and easily finish him off. And so they have to slowly push him and look for cracks in the defense. If the Kengal loses concentration even for a moment and succumbs to fear, the enemy's fangs will immediately go into his throat. It seems that the situation is hopeless and everything will be resolved in a few minutes. Wolves are slow for only one reason. 
If the King Gull manages to injure at least one of them, the pack will become less effective at hunting. Therefore, wild predators try to minimize the risks. But the excitement will prevail sooner or later. The King Gull is more massive than some wolves, but loses to this gang. If you think that this was followed by a scene of brutal violence, then you're mistaken. The wolves underestimated the Kangal. He didn't just protect his back, he was stalling. Other dogs came running to the sound of barking. There are very few breeds in the world that will dare to fight wolves without a numerical advantage of at least one to three. The Kangals are just an exception. They are so brave and loyal to each other that they agree to an equal battle, three on three. The alignment changed when the reinforcements literally broke into the fight and attacked the wolves from the flank. Of course, the predators did not run without looking back. They also fought back and did not allow themselves to be seriously injured. But in this fight, they definitely lost. Now they need to flee the city, and all the Kingal survived. And in case of injury, they have a host who will take care of them and cure them. For a seal, a killer whale is a real monster from the depths. With a huge difference in size and strength, the chances in battle are zero. But the seal still has one advantage. Millions of years ago, the ancestors of killer whales completely went into the ocean and lost the opportunity to return to land. But pinnipeds do not. The seal feels this, so it escapes from the black and white hunters on the ice flow. And that's it, he's saved. Or is he? Unfortunately, at least for the seal, the pinniped underestimated its pursuers. Killer whales are incredibly intelligent and seem to be well-versed in physics. And thanks to echolocation, they not only know exactly where their prey is on the ice flow, but also how strong the barrier is in front of them. Thanks to the coordinated actions of killer whales, they send a wave to the ice flow and literally wash the victim back into the water. Jaws is already finishing the job here. Which case of unexpected denouement of animal battles struck you more than others? Reply in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to see impressive animal videos more often.